Well, folks, here it is, 17th of December, 2020, Thursday. It's my last video message to you for this year. In fact, forever. Uh, thank you so much to all those who've been patient uh, and watched this. You remember there was a time when we were doing two a week uh, with all the change that has gone on this year. But here we are, we've come to the last one. Oh, a sense of sadness, uh, thank you, a joyful heart. 17th of December, actually it's quite a special day for myself and Rhonda. 25 years ago today, I was actually fully ordained as an Anglican minister at St Michael's Cathedral. So it's a 25th anniversary. So uh, it was uh, a great day and just like today, it's great to be together. A few things to uh, remind you about coming up, of course, as you know, uh, I'm going on long service leave from the end of this month to uh, the end of February, Shane will be acting rector. Uh, please uh, keep him and Rachel in your prayers and, uh, and give him your full support. Wasn't Carol's a great night online? We've actually had right now over 2,000 views. So that's thousands of people who've watched that. So a big shout out to Greg and the team. You know about Christmas. You know that Christmas Eve is online. Christmas Day is on site. And the 27th of December is also online. You know about that. You can get the details, of course, on our website and even on our front sign at the front of the church. Uh, the CD is here and it's called here from our youth uh, team and youth members. It's a great, I really encourage you, 10 bucks each. Uh, they're available this Sunday. Uh, pick some up, buy them, enjoy them, enjoy listening to them, talk about them and give thanks to our young people for all that they've done this year and indeed for the CD. In fact, today it's actually the Kids Fun Day. So it's great to see the church being used by lots of kids. Uh, there's two sessions, morning and afternoon. So a big shout out to those involved and to the Jenny and Logan for all that they've done. Uh, it's uh, just great to see the church being used in that way. In terms of the new rector, uh, I can't give any news. I have no doubts the nominators will give you an update soon. Uh, keep them in your prayers uh, as they pray and work through who the next leader will be. And hopefully that'll, that news will be known sooner rather than later. But more than likely, your expectations should be checked. Uh, probably a new person will start more than likely the second half of next year, maybe even a bit later. So keep praying about that. Some people have asked uh, Rhonda and I, so what are we doing post our so-called retirement? Uh, well, you might as well know, we're staying in the Illawarra. We're going to be living north of Wollongong. Uh, our daughter and grandkids are in the area. Uh, we've lived and worked in this area for a long time. We won't be part of Fig Tree Church. Uh, we'll be looking for a new church. Uh, I'll be probably spending time helping out other churches and also seeing the national grandparent movement grow. Uh, I've got some more news about that, which I'll share on Sunday, uh, which will be fantastic. But we're going to stay in the area. We love the area. Uh, it's very dear to our heart and we've just been so blessed through the ministry of Fig Tree, the way you've cared for us as well. As uh, I come to a close on this video and this last one, I wanted to actually on your behalf uh, give some life lessons to those who watch and in particular through the lens of CJ. I want to thank him as you are for all that he's done this year in particular. So CJ, he's standing in front of me just in case you're wondering, but on behalf of us to you brother, we want you to know that sometimes in life, and yes CJ gets these, sometimes ministry in life can be crunchy. But what you do is you chew and you keep giving thanks to God for the experiences you get. Uh, also, uh, CJ, sometimes in life and ministry, it can be a bit sour. Uh, but you chew and you chew. That's what Danny Wong, the dentist, tells me. But you keep moving ahead, enjoying it. One of the great lessons CJ's learnt this year, as you know, is sometimes there are mountains you have to uh, climb. It's often good to do it with chocolate. So CJ, I hope you like Toblerone. At all times, though, Sometimes you just have to roll with the punches, CJ, and we're giving you this as a thank you for all you've done. Roll with them, chew your way through them, enjoy, and this, remember, share with others. Don't do it alone. Often though, what ministry does, which I'm really thankful for, because you know I'm thankful, is that it's like we're always having a party. Ministry and gathering with God's people is such fun. Never forget that, brother. Never forget to remind others of that. But finally, the final gift you get from us to you is a thank you, and it's up to you whether you share them, is we all know the life lesson is true. We know that life truly is like what? A box of chocolates. You never know what you get. Uh, and while you can be thankful for that, brother, we are thankful for all the times you've stood here with me, done videos, watched it. Brother, thank you so much. Blessings to you. May God continue to use you and all the interns and all our young people for a future ministry. Let me leave you right now with my last one, with one of my 
favorite verses, and my guess is I've already shared it with you before, but I love it, so I'm going to share it again. It comes from uh, that great part of God's Word, 1 Thessalonians 5, verses 16 to 18. This is from Rhonda and I to all of you. Rejoice always. Pray continually. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. That has been my journey and our journey. God bless, take care, and may it be that you continue to serve Him, love Him, and love others. All the best for Christmas. Look forward to seeing you in my last day on Sunday and indeed at Christmas time. God bless. Hi everyone. Here, well, here we are just a few days out from the 20th, uh, the Sunday where we will celebrate and farewell Ian and Rhonda Barnett, and I'm sure it's gonna be a great Sunday together. Get your registration in and do that now for either the eight o'clock service or the 10.30 service, note the different time, or 6 p.m. Now, I know the weather's been a bit strange lately and uh, looks like it could be wet. Don't let that worry you. Here's what we'd love you to do. Just stick with the plan. Uh, eight o'clock service, we're looking forward to having a wonderful morning tea with you in the foyer following the service. 10.30 service, maybe we will get to do our picnic outside, but here's what we really want you to do. Please nonetheless bring your picnic rug or your seat and you bring your own picnic along. We will move it inside if we need to, but your picnic rug will be really helpful for us to continue to monitor keeping our space. 6 p.m. service, the sausages will be sizzling. So come along, if we can't be outside, we'll be inside. We will find a way to do it. The main thing I just wanted to say to you is, regardless of what the weather does, just stick with the plan and we do have a way of managing it. So I'll see you on Sunday for a wonderful celebration of Ian and Rhonda and all that God has done through them here at Fig Tree. But well, we all know that 2020 has been the year of adaption. And so I wanted to share with you at the eight o'clock service, we are going to be celebrating communion with the Barnetts. Uh, it's Ian's desire to be able to share this with you one last time. We will have to do it in a slightly different way. I give you our new uh, all-in-one communion pack. You might find it strange without examining it closely, but in this little cup, you have a wafer for your bread, and there is also a juice for your drink. Here's how it works. If you carefully off the top, there is a clear layer. We peel that back, and under that, you will find a small wafer. This is what we eat together uh, in replacement of our normal bread. So you'll just pop that in your mouth. I confess bread tastes better, but this will work. Next, uh, you can peel back the next layer of your cup. And inside of that, you will find grape juice. And that is what we will drink together in remembrance of Christ's blood shed. So I hope this brief introduction to our all-in-one communion cup will help you not to be focusing on the logistics, but able to enjoy the moment together as a community gathered around Christ with one another on Sunday.